Hello and welcome to this short video by Expand Your Skills in which we will take a first look at the conditional logic functions within JotForm. To do this I've created a very simple form here which is a timer where somebody would input the start time and then input the finish time. I've then added three more fields which are number, the header field just saying whoops you started after you finished and another one whoops more than an hour really please check and all three of these I'm going to hide for the moment so in advanced hide field in the text hide field and in the text here as well hide field the reason why will become obvious so there's two things we want to try and avoid here. The first one is allowing the user to input a finish time that is prior to the start time. That I think is fairly obvious. And the second is to ask the user to review their input if the finish time is greater than an hour after the start time. So they spent more than an hour on a task. So how do we do that? And so what we do is come to the settings screen and down the left hand side we go to conditions and if we start with making sure that the user can't input a time that is prior a finish time that is prior to the start time okay and for this we need two bits of conditional logic both in the show and hide field so if we click on that and initially we want to say if the finish time is before and instead of a value we'll have another field which will be the start time so if the finish time is before the start time what do we want to do we want to show this screen so whoops you started after you finished so just reading that through is very logical if the finish time is before the start time show the box that says whoops you started after you finished question mark and save that what we also want to do though is stop them submitting the form if they've done that so to do that we add another condition again show and hide field and again all the details will be the same so if finish time is before the start time hide this time rather than show the submit button so if the finish time is before the start time they won't see the submit button and that's as simple as that now the second scenario whereby we want the user to do a check if their time is greater than one hour is slightly more complicated but still we should better work through it straightforward so if we add a new condition and this time we're going to update and calculate a field so if, so if somebody's put something into the finish time box, is filled. So if the finished, there's something in the finish time box, what do we want to do? We want to calculate the field's value. And if we just work through here, so we want to take the finish time minus, and then by adding field, the start time. And the value we're going to record in the number box. Okay, so just work that through. If the finish time is filled, so if the user has input something into that box, I'm going to do a quick sum, calculate a field's value, the finish time minus this start time will give a number. And we can save that. And that will go into that box that we've hidden away. And now we just need to add another condition and show and hide. So this time, if the number is greater than one then we show this box more than now really please check okay so it's working that through it's very logical if the number is greater than the value of one so one hour then show this box more than hour really please check now this time we're not going to hide the submit button because 
we're only asking them to check. If it is more than an hour, then they're more than welcome to go ahead and submit it. So if we go back to the build screen, and let's do a test now by using the preview form here. And you can see that all we're seeing initially is the start time, the finish time, and a submit button. So let's play with some numbers. So if I just go 9 o'clock until 9.55, everything is OK, and I can submit. If, though, I change this time, to 8.55. It's telling me, whoops, you started after you finished because 9 o'clock is after 8.55 and it has removed the submit button so I have to make a change here. If I change the time here to 11 o'clock, there's more than an hour, really, please check, but I can still submit it once I have checked. And that's it. Like I say, fairly straightforward, I hope but a brief introduction to conditional logic within JotForm. Any questions, as usual, please pop them below or message me through the website, expandyourskills.co.uk. I look forward to hearing from you and keep an eye out for future videos for JotForm, Zapier and Excel. And please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.